making sure everything's... Okay, we're recording. Oh, hold it. That wasn't on. Good. You are? Okay. Homemade steam engine, part nine. It turns over full now. And the cutoff pressure, it started at 90. The cutoff pressure for mine is right around 30. Uh, let's see, this is part 9. You saw it run. I'm not going to run it again because I don't have an air compressor. Oil systems are not in place yet, so I just threw some oil in the cylinder head, motor oil. This is my oil system watch part one through eight to learn about that uh the horrible metal on metal sound you were hearing is not the engine breaking it's well it's the little valve in here the screw i need to put a pad on it so it doesn't do that so let me actually set you guys down real quick and see about getting this unscrewed Once you unscrew this, this is going to have a pressure gauge on it, by the way. I just haven't do it, so I put it in cap. Didn't have to change my valve, or the actual valve itself yet, guys. Everything worked out. But the horrible metal noise was just this. You know. Hitting the side and up and down. It cleaned the bottom of my cylinder head. You can't see, but I can. And it's it gets warm now. We started out at 90 PSI. I know it'll run probably, well, it was right at a minute it was running. Because it sucks. That's a 22-gallon tank at 90 PSI. And it runs in a couple, like, a minute or two. Uh, my, like I said, no oil system yet. I still need to improve the valve a little bit. I'm putting, I'm going to put Teflon tape on all this. I'm probably, I'm putting a pad on that so it doesn't make that noise and I'm not worried about my cracking my piston. And I'm going to also have a pressure gauge coming off of this right here. And, um... Yep, it, uh, I need to put a bigger base, and I have my boiler. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that boiler now, because as I found out on the internet, if you do a little bit of research, uh, old pressure cookers are extremely dangerous. Uh, I knew they were dangerous, but like most people say, you might as well play with fire. So, mine isn't extremely safe. I might still use it, might not. I don't know how high pressure cookers can get up, but I would need 90 PSI. Oh, and I still need to put a flywheel wheel on. That will bump down my uh, compression needed to start it. To pro I'm expecting maybe 70-ish PSI, 75. I have no nothing coming for that. I just can feel it in here. So, um, anyway, part 9. It ran. It did turn all the way over. We could feel the air coming off as before. It was just doing this. And the key, if you don't have a flywheel, I feel, or I found, is playing around with your valve, plugging all the leaks, and a, you need a lot more pressure. Oil is also important, and it's going to, and it uh, vibrates a lot. So anyway, this is part nine of homemade steam engine. It runs. Now it's time to tweak it.